I was just listening to this podcast about scams and it reminded me of the time that I was almost scammed by what I thought was PayPal. It was not. It was an impersonation scam. Impersonation scams are scams where someone will contact you, whether over the phone, through a text message, it could be through the mail with a letter on official looking letterhead. It could be through email, which is what happened to me. It could be through a direct message on social media. And the scammer, the person contacting you is impersonating or pretending to be a company that you'd be familiar with. Like in my situation, they were pretending to be PayPal, but these scammers pretend to be Amazon, Microsoft, Target, government agencies like the IRS, the Federal Trade Commission, the U.S. Postal Service. They could pretend to be somebody that you know, like a family member or a friend. But the goal is the same with all of these impersonation scams, and that is to steal your money or get access to your personal information. There are several ways that impersonation scams work, but one of the ways is these scammers will contact you and they will tell you that there's a problem with your account, that it's urgent and they need to speak to you immediately. When this happens, it can create all types of panic because you're worried, is someone trying to hack my account? Is someone trying to steal my money? When you end up speaking with this scammer, they will tell you that the problem with your account is that the funds in the account have been linked to some criminal activity. They may say something like money laundering or drug trafficking. And when that happens now, there's even more panic because you're like, how did this happen? And importantly, what do I need to do to fix it? Well, the scammer has the answer. The scammer can help you fix it. Because the scammer then is going to tell you the way that we can protect you and keep your money safe is that we're going to help you move it. And they may even try to make it sound more legitimate by saying, you know, we're going to connect you with this government agency that they've impersonated or this company that they've impersonated, and they're going to help you move this money. But they're also a part of the scam. And when you speak to this person, this scammer who's going to help you move your money to keep it safe, as they've said, this person's going to tell you, you know, we've got a special account set up for you and we're going to help you transfer your money from this account into that account. They may tell you, you know, you need to use the money in this account to buy gold bars. They may tell you to keep your money safe. We need you to withdraw all of it and deposit it to a special Bitcoin ATM. They might tell you, you know, the way we have to keep it safe is to remove all of your money and then we're going to arrange a courier to come meet you and pick up the money. But this is all lies. This is all a scam from beginning to end. This is all a scam. This is not the IRS. It's not the FTC. It's not Amazon. It's not the U.S. Postal Service. It's a scammer. It's all a scam. And when this is happening, this can feel very real because the scammer's goal is to create such panic and such urgency that you really don't have time to step back and think, wait a minute, this, this doesn't really make sense because they don't want to give you that opportunity. And in some cases, the scammers can get pushy and aggressive. They may threaten you in some way because they don't want you to have time to think about what's happening. But no legitimate company and no real government agency is going to tell you that you need to move your money to protect it. So share this video with your family, with your friends, with people you know, so that you can protect yourself from impersonation scams.